All right, um, I wanted to demonstrate a quick video of the simple little system I got going to test and get familiar with using a, a PID controller to regulate my mash temp or you know whatever you want to use it for in your boil kettles or your hot light tank or what have you. I, I plan on doing a system with uh, doing a Herm system here eventually um, but I wanted to demonstrate a little bit how a person with no knowledge of these things has never used them before. It's kind of how I set things up to help me kind of understand and make sure I can wire this up simply uh, enough to step onto bigger things with you know 240 and, and elements such as that. So what I did here is I wired in just a basic extension cord into a control box. Um, I'm going to use very simple terms, probably not terms electricians or electrical engineers would use, but basically uh, my lead wire goes in here. Uh, this is just a single pull switch. So my hot coming off when it's turned on, I have two leads coming off of it when it's turned on. One lead is going here to power my unit. The other lead is wired into the light bulb, into the, the socket there. Off of here, um, I have this wired in to my solid state relay. It's a 40 amp relay. This, by the way, is a model uh, 2052, is that correct? Uh, 2352 SYL 2352 with a solid state relay. Um, so everything's wired here correctly. I have an RTD sensor wired in here. That's sitting in a cup of water right now. It's hot water. Uh, so basically I just want to give a easy demonstration of how this is set up and um, this really helped my confidence in knowing that I understand the flow of things. Okay. So like I said, I have two leads coming off here. One to power this, one to power the light. I'm sorry, the, the, the lead actually coming off here is going to terminal one on my solid state relay uh, and then there's a lead coming off that that goes to my light so when that is turned on it completes the circuit and that allows the flow of electricity into my light um, my neutral line here is tied in with the neutral line from here and also tied in with the neutral line of the PID alright so I'm going to plug it in here now the standard wall outlet turn my switch on you can see the unit power up and it should be giving me my temperature of the water in my glass. All right. So right now it's about 110. All right, I got a couple ice cubes in there uh, are, are sitting in the bowl. So I'm going to change this to say uh, 100 degrees, okay? Right now the light is not on because the water temperature is higher than what I actually want it set at. Uh, if this temperature drops below 100 degrees, it should trigger the light to come on or essentially that would trigger your heating element to come on and start firing your mash again or your strike water or what have you. So let me drop, a, let me drop two ice cubes in there and we should see the uh, PID start to move. I got a third one here. That's moving pretty good. I got that third one in there. And you see it's dropping now. And as soon as that hits 100 or 99, the light bulb should kick on. And there you have it. So that's a simple circuit right there. Um, and it's going to keep falling. And basically, as it keeps falling, the, the power is supplied to the light bulb, which would actually, you know, is acting as your burner which would keep going until the temperature reached back up to 100 degrees um, so in doing it this way hopefully for the new guys out there to just start using these like myself this uh, kind of showed me the understanding um, I also have um, using the RTD input um, I had to set the SN value to 21 it's in the manual I didn't really understand that uh, in the beginning but uh, a guy in homebrew talk uh, showed me the way there and it is on auto mode right now, it's not in manual. Um, so, there you have it.